the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what i'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here uh we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least i use this one it still focus on the steal kill and destroy but i did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the, the doctrine of discovery. Uh, so the Catholic, the Catholic Pope is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for it, and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse. You don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity to excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out to A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. During those times, there was no need for it because you had a trade, a craft. Mm. You know, and you were taught that from generation to generation. Or, you know, you would find somebody and pick up on their, their craft. Yeah. You could have been Yeah. And yeah. so... Uh, but even those who, who did have some type of learning, um, you know, they would probably feel a little apprehension mm -hmm. to go in front of these people who project themselves as better than everybody else. Yeah. You know, and look down on, 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 on the common folk. Yeah. So, yeah, I can, I can... 
I can probably see, you know, uh, Yeshua going to, to read in, in my mind's eye, uh, <laughs> them not even fully aware of, of him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until he actually starts to read and then, you know, they might have been in their mind, <laughs> like, who, who is this? <laughs> then when he said, you know, this is fulfilled, I, I know that blew their mind. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, that probably just went smooth over their head because just for the fact that he came down there and read. Yeah, I, th I think so. And the thing about it is, like I said, most of the people couldn't read. So the only people who reacted to what he read were the religious leaders yeah. who wanted to maintain this 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 control. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge is power, and that's what they did, right? And knowledge is being power today. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is interesting, man. It's, it's, it's and, and, and the crazy thing is, they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to make not knowledge power, but a lie power. Well, that's true, because even today we're talking about the, uh, the election coming up, right? And, and the fact is that the people accept the lie and don't want to accept truth or facts. Well, right? that, that's scripture. <laughs> the scripture. The, 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 like I said many times before, we are living. We're seeing it right in front of you. In the times of sorrow, this dispensation is the time of sorrow. And Yeshua spoke it. Clear as day. He just laid it out. Mm. All the things that he said. Yeah. Happened. Because they asked, you know, when 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 will you return? And he was breaking it down. These things have to happen. Yeah. And, yeah. And and this will be, and he said, and this will be the time of sorrow. And everything that he said yeah. is happening at this particular time. And and only God knows how long this will last because after this, you don't want to be here. No, no. You do no. not want to be in your physical suit when the next shoe drops. Exactly. And he's and, and showing that the, he said many will be deceived. Yeah. And you, he, if, if this ain't, if this is not the end time, he is definitely showing y'all the dress rehearsal yeah. of, of what will come. Because if you can be deceived now, which a large percentage of them have been, but, but the, the, you know, some of that is stemming back from the fact is that this guy is representing a false doctrine of supremacy and everything else mm -hmm. that, that they back off, right? They back off. Because, because well, he's representing because them. He's a representation of them. Exactly. He's exposing. Yeah. What they keep in their background, you know, like you have in, on your computer, you have uh, uh, functions in the background that you don't see. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're looking at this 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 message, this this Bible study. There are operations in the background of your computer that is functioning. Yeah. That allows you to see what you see and hear, hear what, you, what hear. you hear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So without seeing them, you don't know the full function of these things. That is what was happening before, before <laughs> we had this particular platform to where you could see. And he, uh, right. But now, just like this Zoom meeting platform, this government is being exposed just the same. So the yeah. stuff that's done in the background is being shown yeah. in people's face. And, and they still don't want to accept the truth. Yeah. Because the background <laughs> stuff is what they want. And uh, the, uh, then they decide if you're speaking against it, they, they even get to the street word of hate. You, yeah. you, you hate me. You hate yeah. us. You yeah. hate, yeah. And, you're, and, you're discriminating against me because you won't believe my lie. <laughs> and I know, I 
I look, look, they even use this word, what do you call that, two-tier system. Knowing that you have been practicing a two-tier system. <laughs> it's, it's been a three-tier system in my mind. It's it's them, the the, the big I thems, and the, the little you thems, and then the us. It, it, wow. That is amazing though, really. It's, it's, it's how the things are just so clear and, and back to like i said that's why it's important we said is people read the scripture for yourself yeah. read it for yourself stop sitting there taking a lie and then the, the denial take the truth they did that's that's a sense of denial like if you talk about the, the election was lost stolen right and, and every time somebody sit there and say okay what proof do you have oh were well, they covered it up what proof do you have of that I'm, I, I just know it's a lie. And and this guy got a president, you know, ex former president telling yeah. us it's a lie. Yeah. Even if we got videotape where he even He even right admits that he knew that he lost and yeah. he didn't do what he needed. But this is the thing. His election was stolen. Yeah. Because he had he had uh what's his name? He had what uh, what's that tall uh, guy uh, that was investigating Hillary? Um, oh, you talking about? Oh, you talking about Cole, Cole, Coleman? Or what is that? The, the uh, remember his term, name? The, the FBI guy, right? Yeah, he he going he's gonna go bring up uh, the laptop thing. Yeah, well, well, this is the crazy thing. He brought up old evidence and presented it as if it were new yeah right before the votes go out exactly he did it right at the time his coleman i think is it see something i Talk. can't remember i just know he's he's a he's yeah. a tall guy and, and and then once they started jumping on him mm -hmm. then he want to act all righteous yeah no different than uh what's that other guy that was uh helping Trump out uh, for the justice system. Um, for the justice system? Yeah. Uh, the, the senator? Uh, oh, you're talking about Barr. Barr. Yeah. Barr. Yeah. No yeah. different than him. He's doing all, he's doing unethical mm -hmm. things. He's doing things that you're not supposed to do. Yeah. To support and help this ex-president and then when he sees everything, all the walls starting to fall, he jump off the ship. Yeah, he said that. Then he yeah. comes back later talking about, well, well, I told him this and I did that. Now he's trying to to act like he was doing his job the way he was supposed to. Yeah. He's all righteous now, but he didn't help. He didn't help. And the fact that those people don't see that the, the guy, the, the, the one that's running again, he's quick to put you, if, if you sat there and didn't do say what he said, he asked you for your letter of resignation nation anyway. Yeah. Said, yeah. Uh, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, they had they had something on CNN last night to where they were showing all the different people that he was trying to put in place to change the election. Yeah, yeah. He was going after the guardrails, yeah. you know? And, yeah. and some was willing to, to go oh, yeah. against the God will. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's just the fact that the people see this stuff, but they still felt it was justified, even today. That yeah. that group of people now, this guy is leading. Four indictments, he's still leading. But the fact is people willing to receive a lie. And the devil, I mean, the Bible said the devil will deceive many uh, to the end time. That's why we're asking people, please read the scripture for yourself. Period. One second. Go ahead. I'm going to go back to the slide anyway. <laughs> so, people, I'm just saying is look at this, and I, I'm going to actually try to sit and do a uh, week, uh, uh, daily. I'm going to set them up and then just set them up daily of just so we just read the entire scriptures. Uh, and I want to use the audio books to, to do it because I know it's very difficult to uh, say those words, a lot of those words. I was telling them, I'm gonna to try to put a little clips out where you're just reading the Bible, just going through the whole New Testament, 
one day at a time, encourage the people to actually look at the scriptures. Yeah. Uh, and use audio books. I I knew I knew it's yeah. difficult sometimes to to say some of those uh, words yeah. that goes to another time. And and but you you just want to read the scripture and it could be somebody to read it for you let an audio book read it for you and you look at the scripture at the same time and then just go straight into your prayer just while you're driving i tell you there's been plenty of times when i'm driving and i'm listening to scriptures mm. and i'm like is that what that sounds it's really <laughs> you know seriously i'll be like uh -huh. that's not what i was told see is exactly or or i didn't know it said that mm. you know and it, it was like i always thought it meant this but when yeah. it's read and it's kept in content come on now you will hear things that you've never heard before because if it's kept in content it will apply itself to itself and it yeah. would prove itself yeah and it will flow and you will get more of a revelation because it sets itself up for why it's saying what it's saying. Right. Yeah. And you can you can see, and I like to uh, even from Genesis, you see the big picture as you read it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you you won't get the big picture <clears throat> if you just take a certain pieces out of it. Yeah. You know, yes. about Joseph, about Israel, about Jacob, yeah. about Abraham, about Elah. Adam and Eve about Adam Cain and, and Abel. Was <laughs> I, I, it wasn't long ago when I actually realized that God never left Adam, Eve, mm -hmm. uh, Cain, and Abel. He was right. there, but right. when, but just from me listening to people talk about it, it was like when they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. That was it. Yeah, you know that that was my mindset because yeah. I never you never heard <clears throat> much after that. You just heard that story, yeah. you know, how they how they disobeyed God and blah 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 and were kicked out. And then you may have heard about how Cain killed Abel, and then that's it. You don't hear the things about what happened after that. Yeah, if you I, don't I'm get in. God they, interacted with him. Yeah, yeah. If if you don't get in and read, and so it, it is imperative that you that you read these words, these scriptures, because, and then go in with the mindset of what Yeshua said, that the comforter will show you all truth. Yes. And he will only speak those things mm -hmm. that I say. Yeah. So if if you if you pray in that mindset before reading, I, I, I pray that the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, actually reveals what God is trying to put in my heart or has put in my heart. Come out, come out. So that I can operate in it. And so you start reading with that mindset and then the revelations will come. I mean, the, the you got to have that hunger first. Yeah, and it, I still say the, the fact is reading it from back cover to cover gives you the big picture yes because you 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 take in it you make you we don't ask you to memorize the scriptures we just say get the big picture big flavor you know i, I like when uh i remember when i first read the bible when uh getting up to the solomon temple mm -hmm. right it i felt like i was there or, or experiencing the glory uh -huh. that they had you yeah. know what i mean you 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 can you can see it because even when uh Bathsheba or whatever the lady that, that came from Ethiopia mm -hmm. and, and it fell out because the glory of the temple, sometimes the temple was filled with the glory of God that you could you could barely see in there. Yeah, even you know? after his presence wasn't in there. Come on now. The glory the, the residue. The residue of the glory in the atmosphere was still there. Yeah, if people bring it, other countries would bring it and make it treaties yeah. with uh, with Israel. Uh, I mean, look it, at how long it, it rests on Abraham. Come on, 
the glory. I mean, that dude glowed for some time. Yeah, Moses. Yeah, Moses. Yeah, yeah Moses. Yeah. Moses. Yeah, I agree. And I see, you, and if you don't see, see, we can remember these. If you read the whole scripture, as you read it from cover to cover, you start remembering those things, right? You yeah. can almost feel like you, you almost could, you even yourself could sit there and say, "Man, I can, I can visualize this guy's face glowing so bright yeah. that, that you can't see his face." Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, that he had to wear a veil. They couldn't yeah. look. You know, and I and I and I, I believe that that glory uh, reflected their sin nature back yes. on them. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. you know, you you there's many people who fall before the presence of an angel, knowing that they're unworthy to be in the presence because of their sin nature. It's just an automatic function that's within you. Right. You know, it, when 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 something is 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 pure and 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 just and righteous and holy. Yeah. yeah. You know, you you either want to douse it. Or you 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 have to honor it. Well, that, that's what it's saying. Men will love love darkness rather than light. Yeah, yeah. Because their deeds are exposed, right? Mm -hmm. hey, uh, Moses was his. He was being cleansed every time he kept staying that presence of God. Yeah. That, that death was being removed. The flesh. Remember to say, "Well, in my flesh dwell is no good thing." Well, no and, good thing. And see, he being in the presence of God. His sin was 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 being diminished mm -hmm. over and over again. That's why he was glowing, you know. And that's why we're telling people to read. I got this chart up there. Is read it. We encouraging you to read the Bible more than once. So oh, this is what just jumped in my mind. Glory to God. So Adam and Eve were in the presence of God. Yes, sir. The cool of the day. Yes. All the time. All the time. So if they were in the presence of God mm -hmm. and Moses was in the presence of God and Moses' face shined and glowed, how much more did Adam and Eve? Exactly. But don't forget, so when they, they fell, when they fell, yes. they became naked and yep. now you can look upon their flesh. Yes. And they hid themselves and they from the hid presence themselves. of God. Yes, sir. And that's what man nature, that's why he said people love darkness rather than mm -hmm. light because their deeds are exposed. Yeah. And that's why they like to point is somebody else's deeds and shortcomings to, to justify them. Look, my fact, that's why the children of Israel said, Moses, you talk to us. You go talk to God. And you come talk to us and we'll hear you. Unless we die. You see what I'm saying? People know that when they're in the presence of God, they feel that they are being exposed, which they are. But they they take it as if I'm going to die, opposed to I'm going to live. Right? Because God wants you to come <laughs> so you can live, not stay away so you can die. That's why we tell people, read, read the scripture for yourself. And then I was showing you that, that article. Look at this here. Should be coming up. There you go. The uh, back of this, the, 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 the Francis, I tell you, he was apologizing for the, like you said, the indoctrination. Mm -hmm. And he said his words went beyond his early apology for the deplorable. <laughs> Look at that. That's the point. People, that, I said ugly, right? There's a, I don't know if you heard, but I said early, I said there's ugly history of people. Mm -hmm. uh, he's saying deplorable acts of missionaries and instead took responsibility for the church, institutional cooperation with the catastrophic assimilation policies. I mean, that ministry, that was the largest ministry of Christianity anyway, right? At the, at the time, mm -hmm. wasn't it? That was the largest one. And yeah. they, they basically, some of the fact is that they participated in the assimilation policies 
and call the deplorable acts, the raping, the stealing, the killing. Mm -hmm. they, 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 like I said, re-educating people. Uh, and they said that apparently Canada got a Canada, a Canada Truth and Reconcil Reconciliation Commission that said amounted to cultural genocide. Yeah. That, that's exactly. And, and what else does that mean, mimic? Mm, same here. It was having this country. Same, same thing. Same thing. You know, look, Roots, Toby, what's your name? Your name Toby. Yeah. No, yeah. no, my name is Kuta Kente. No, your name is Toby. And I'm going to whip you until you say Toby. Yeah. My name is Toby now. <laughs> you know, it's it's sad, but that's what exactly the population. Look at this one right here. This is the this is the uh, summary of what we talked about as far as Pope Nicholas V. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them up in uh, 25, 30 minute segments. And I try to bring them like A, B, C, and D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the, even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing or addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of still killing and destroying. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take their culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of the gospel is all about. And that's why I'm trying to t encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn to be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead toward the things of the flesh opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come back heard, it comes back hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even the Lord's Prayer, the daily prayer, the will of God is on the, is the, by the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. Hey, I'm really glad you took time in this our session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate the, old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well. If you have the time, let you get an audio book. I like, I like audio books, right? Where they, 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 they person that is reading the scriptures for me. Because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audio book or app on your phone that read the scripture and read that one chapter a day. I guarantee you'll love it because you're listening. Faith comes back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different wordings that you may not be able to pronounce. That's just me. I mean, you probably pronounce everything. But for me, I like to read the, I like the audio book to read it. So that's my encouragement. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. And thank you again for listening, and thank you for your support. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.